Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tuning Into Love. Thank you so much for joining me for another Pick a Card reading. This reading is going to be um, a message regarding bringing more stability, peace, and harmony into your world. Um, the choice to truly build your foundation on unconditional love, on your authentic path. And this was the most voted upon in a, in a recent poll I did. So here is the message for you guys. This is a message to um, truly align you to your authentic path and feel that energy of knowing, of peace, of contentment, of fulfillment, knowing you're, you're on the right path. And it's a, it's a work in progress. <laughs> it's a steady progress. It's one day at a time and it's, building that foundation one brick at a time that's an integrity that is sound that is based on what you feel guided and know to be true within you so <clears throat> as i continue on here take a moment to tune into the four different groups group one two three and four um and just tune into the group that you feel intuitively guided to Take a moment to breathe if you need to, um, and there may be more than one message in here for you. Take what resonates as always and leave whatever doesn't. Trust your intuition. Thank you all so much for being here with me, for walking this path of love, for choosing love, and choosing to empower yourselves and to be co-creators. This is such a wild journey, this, this journey of life, and it's like the more I learn, the more I know, the less I realize that I really know. Like, I don't know anything. <laughs> and there's more relief that comes with that and trusting your path, claiming your path, trusting it, owning it, listening to your intuition, that your soul is guiding you at all times. And we came here to anchor this foundation of unconditional love. And it is not for the weak of heart it is for the strongest of the strong so i'm so grateful that you guys are here thank you thank you for being here thank you for your time your energy for subscribing liking commenting and sharing the videos your comments you guys are so they mean the world to me and um i i it's like i want to respond to every single one and when i have um you know, when my internet situation and everything is really up to speed, I'm really excited to be able to be present with you guys on a daily basis and responding to your comments. But know that I will respond as soon as I have the opportunity. Um, when I get a chance to read them, I just, my heart just feels so fulfilled. It's that, it's just that affirmation that these messages are reaching who they're meant to reach and it's through trusting the mystery that they're coming to you right so keep trusting yourself in the mystery and unconditional love it is the strongest force on earth and you're moving you've already made the choice to move in the direction that is going to be in your highest good and the highest good of all so let's get started with this reading you guys there'll be timestamps in the description and I love you all so much. I'm going to set these over here. <clears throat> Group number one. All right. Are you guys ready? Let's see what's going on. I pulled a bunch of cards. Let's see how I want to do this. So we've got the four of pentacles. Um, the Page of Wands and the Two of Wands. Wow. Okay, we have a new beginning here. This is the Listen or the High Priestess card. Go for it from the Angels. This uh, Sacred Tarot of the Heart. Yes. <laughs> the Ascended Masters. Yes, Ganesh. Okay, so there is something that you are really feeling fired up about it's it's a it, you know your soul is guiding you on this path and <clears throat> it's like you know 
you know that you're moving forward, you can feel it, your, your intuition is guiding you and you know there's something you have to let go of. And so look at this forgiveness from Avalon. Oh my goodness, no place like home. Let me just lay these all out here. <laughs> Gaia nurturing. <clears throat> Going beyond normal from the sacred rebels. Ooh, potential gateway. This is from Nature's Whispers, Potential Gateway. This is a beautiful card. <clears throat> sacred Convergence from the Rumi deck. Fire Spontaneity. Um, divination of the ancients and your little affirmation card says I follow my inner wisdom right I am at peace with my own being I completely trust the intelligence within me to guide me to the right path the universe supports me in every positive way Wow <clears throat> okay I follow my inner wisdom I am at peace with my own being Wow, so this is about really making peace with your past. Um, we can always choose to just keep moving forward and pretend like the past didn't exist and What happens when we do that is we stay stuck in the that programming or that fear-based consciousness because our soul knows the truth. Our soul knows, we know deep inside the truth of a situation. And so if we are out of alignment with our own integrity, we carry around guilt and shame and regrets and anger and all of these thoughts that keep those emotions fueled. And so in order to truly move forward, to expand your consciousness, to really align with your authenticity, which is unconditional love. <clears throat> we must make that internal choice within us, that initiated, that self-initiated decision to choose unconditional love. And so when we do that, the past, you know, becomes the wisdom and we choose to heal and amend and heal that energy from the past because we're not going to be bringing it forward and so when we awaken in order to truly embark on our spiritual path we need to have peace with the past and so there's something going on here where you're tuning into that love within yourself you know this is about really trusting what you're being guided to do and really listening to your intuition right now go for it is the angels letting you know that they're working with you they're guiding you like the synchronicities the the nudges the knowings that you're feeling within you you know your angels and guides are working with you to really amplify that to say yes you know so if you need signs if you're asking for signs if you're looking for you know affirmation that this is what you should do or you know should I let go of this or hang on to it you know you're you're getting the signs and synchronicities and this is about you really trusting the messages that you're receiving um nurturing the life force the life affirming feelings within you the life affirming emotions um forgiveness really forgiving situations people behaviors things of the past that We're really keeping you from, a, it's like being able to express yourself fully, your true authentic self. The Four of Pentacles is this energy where we feel closed off, we feel guarded. Um, it's that um, survival mode, you know, we're in survival mode. We, we feel like we, it's like every man for himself and we have to, we don't trust. So in order to fully like embrace this path 
This is about really trusting what you're receiving, what your higher self, your intuition is guiding you to do. The Page of Wands, he's he's a visionary. You know, this is a, a new path that he's embarking on that he's received this divine insight. And, you know, he's in a desert. The Page of Wands, he speaks his visualizations, you know, vocally out into the universe. And I, I like that he's in the desert where there's nobody around because I get the feeling it's like, take yourself somewhere where there's no one around you, where you can speak and speak what it is that feels good. You know, give yourself this like energy of what it feels like to be in this home energy. There's no place like home. And if we are surrounded in energies that are not authentic to who, like, nurturing our authentic expression, it's like we, we close up, we hold on to what reminds us of, you know, or what we've put all our time and energy into or whatever it is, but it's about remembering that you have everything you need within you. And this is about expanding your consciousness, expanding your awareness, your um, purpose here on earth to find that it's like to find that <sighs> that desire that that purpose to express your love to express your true authentic energy who you really are this fire spontaneity what gets your fire going you know a fire it's you know mesmerizing and it's it's like magic you know a lot of people stare into a fire and see visions but the i love fire because it's like it's almost like the ethereal and physical you know it's just this gas and it moves and it shifts and it can be very spontaneous and burst and combust and it can also be, you know, very suffocating. It can be very, it can, it can do a lot of different things, but it's about really tuning into that fire and allowing it to fuel you. And in order to do that, you've got to make peace with the past. I feel like there may be a relationship here that you're, that's, you know, something you need to let go of and to see in a new light with sacred convergence here. I'm going to see what this card is all about. It's the number 11. Okay, so this is a divinely guided relationship of some kind. Um, and this can resonate with you in many different ways. Okay, so you know how it resonates with you. But <clears throat> this relationship is a feeling of home for you. It's a feeling of, it's like you know what is right for you when you have that sense of security, of peace, of well-being, of that feeling of home. And it's about trusting your own inner wisdom despite what others have told you or what others believe. This is about you moving towards the energy that's resonant with you. This is about going beyond the normal. It's like you're about to go through a gateway, a portal of being in the 3D <clears throat> limited awareness and consciousness self and you're about to go through a, a gateway that is your expanded consciousness your higher self your 5d self um and from this place you see relationships situations from a whole new perspective it literally shifts everything and you realize that whatever's truly meant to be yours can never be taken when we let go of needing something or that survival mode and we're in the the trust the knowing that we're guided every step of the way through the universe is always guiding us when we believe it when we open to it it's our higher self it's love is unconditional love is supportive love is stable love is peace so it's about tuning into what love is you know it's about tuning into those qualities and where you receive those qualities and those will amplify them within you and allow you to let go because what's truly meant to be yours is going to be yours. It wants you just as much as you want it. You know, what you seek is seeking you, right? Um,
really forgiving yourself, nurturing yourself is the first step. Seeing that maybe you aren't like others, you know, it's okay to come out of the box, to come out and be who you really are, to go for what makes your heart, you know, to what just really gets your fire lit because only you, it's only meant for you. And when you forgive yourself, when you love yourself and accept who you are completely, unconditionally, 100%, and you choose inside to choose love, you're going to know what to do moving forward. You're, you're going to know that your intentions are pure, that they're based in a pure place in your heart. And it's like this gateway, look at this. It's like this gateway is the heart, you know? It's about going into your heart and really aligning with your heart's true desires and passions. And only you know what those are. You can't expect anyone else to know them. And they may have their opinions about them and, and all of that, but they can never truly understand because they don't walk in your shoes. You know, it's like we need to validate our own feelings, affirm how we feel. <clears throat> and the only way we're going to know is by listening and trusting and, and really being able to see that that's a possibility. So I want to see the number 11 here. This is Sacred Convergence. <clears throat> It says, roaming about town, the master was holding a light, saying, I am weary of the demons and the beasts. A human is what I am longing for. The human cannot be found. We have searched. We cannot be found is what I am. What cannot be found is what I am longing for. Although poor and needy, I will not accept small pieces of ruby. The mine of the finest rubies is what I am longing for. One hand holding a cup of wine and the other the curls of the beloved. A dance like this in the middle of the circle is what I am longing for. Rumi. How I have longed for you, my very own. <clears throat> Look no further, for the family beyond your family, the relationship beyond all other relationships, the great love that unveils all of their loves to be mere reflections of the one great and true love is here for you now. <clears throat> it is I who has sought you through the stirrings of your own heart. Yes, t'was I, hidden beneath every secret, yearning for something more, something full, something special, something all-encompassing. Behind every yearning always I have hidden. Now I show myself to you, that you may become so filled with the same passionate devotion that I hold for you, that your mind will fall away, overwhelmed by the sheer intensity of love tossed into an ocean of silent, unending bliss. Come to me. We are to be one now in sacred convergence of silent, eternal passion. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to take a drink after that. Hold on one second, you guys. I feel so much passion in this reading. I really feel like this is a, a divine relationship, divine counterparts very spiritual relationship, a lot of love and passion. Um, let me finish this really quick. <laughs> Sacred convergence indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause. This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. There's an aspect of joining together for common purpose, although that purpose may not be immediately obvious at a level of day-to-day -day consciousness. That common soul purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief, to shed fear and open the heart, filling each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal passionate purpose. You'll have a sense when this process is happening. There will be a coming together of you with like-minded souls who hail from all walks of life, and yet together, through some invisible genius, you will help each other. You may simply be dancing in the same room or singing in a group, attending a class or workshop, or just visiting the same beach or parkland. But at that moment, there will be a sense of something coherent and nourishing happening at a far greater level. <clears throat> the trickle-down effect into your personal life will be felt too. You'll have more energy after spending time with these people, even if you don't interact very much on a personal level beyond being in the same space. You'll feel empowered to step forward on your path and love yourself with less conditions. You'll become freer to shed your fears, 
let go of relationships based in fear and judgment and open up to those more loving, responsive, and inspiring to continue on your personal journey in increasingly profound ways. Yes, you guys, this oracle has come to you because you are part of a greater sacred convergence happening now. Perhaps you've already sensed its progression or perhaps it will not be obvious to you, but the effect, whether obvious or subtle, will be important to your soul development and your divine awakening. You are being asked to drop def defenses and barriers towards groups of people that feel good for you. However, those that dampen your spirits or drag you down are to be dispensed with, no matter what games of blame or manipulation they may play to keep you coming back for more. No, that shall not do for your soul growth now. Just step away. Turn towards those connections that feel nourishing to your soul. Whew. And learn to share yourself without fear. Just be. You do not have to force the planets to spin nor the great cycles of the soul to happen. <clears throat> All that is required is that you show up for what is offered to you now. Do your part. Take your steps. Dance, sing, and be, and allow the gifts of sacred connection to change your world. For this is the spiritual gift presented to you now. This oracle comes with a special message. Perhaps you've been thinking about shedding lower vibrational connections based in the ego world of power games, sabotage, manipulation, and fear. Perhaps you've already begun this process or even shed so many you are fearing you might have over pruned. <laughs> you might have over pruned to be left with nothing and no one. I feel like I may have done that to myself. So if you're feeling that way, it's okay. I think we all do. Do not fear, feisty angel of love. It's because we're feisty angels of love. <laughs> Your truth is prevailing. You cannot stay in a vibration of fear if you want to dwell in a vibration of love. Whilst you learn to sustain that vibration within you until it cannot be rattled by any crisis or demand, you are wise to place yourself in more nourishing connections. If you want a plant to grow, why not give it the best soil and conditions in which to do so? Certainly the plant of love can and will grow in the most inhospitable conditions, but it can be rather more joyful to grow in gentler, more nourishing conditions if possible. Right? Your foundation of unconditional love, your nourishing connections, your nourishing environment, nourishing thoughts and words and emotions and exchanges and experiences and activities. This oracle comes to you with guidance that the possibility for more joyful relationships and growth of love within is the is in your power. You can choose each day, each moment. Just make a choice. Trust yourself, your discernment, and your intuition, and choose. You do not owe anything. Any you do not owe anyone anything. Absolutely right. You do not owe anyone anything. And remember that no is a complete sentence. And also silence holds more power than anything. Your I read a great quote the other day, and it's just been with me. It's if you know those who do not understand your silence will never understand your words and it really helps us put in perspective where we're giving our energy and time to you no one is entitled to us you know we don't owe anyone anything we have nothing to prove we have nothing to defend you know and if there's an issue with love we address it right so it says, repeat this law of karma. You only owe love the chance to grow. So let that be your guiding principle now as you release the old and trust that even if your garden of relationship becomes sparse for a while, you have been cutting back unhealthy plants to allow for new life to flourish. It is only a matter of timing for the season of new life and growth to come again. And so it shall, bringing with it sacred convergence of souls on the path of love, your soul tribe, your soul family, your new tribe of those journeying upon the path of love. Wow. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I am loving this because I feel like as you focus on the nurturing life force, I apologize for the background noise. As you focus on nurturing your solid foundation, nurturing your, your peace, your wisdom, nurturing your intuition, you know, we're, we're always going to have challenges with our relationships. There's no such thing as perfection. So it's about being around, being with your soul family and knowing that you want to work things out with them. You're not afraid to 
you know, confront each other because you know that your intentions are pure, that they're based in the heart. It's all about growth and learning together. You're rooting for each other. You're supporting each other. But it's also understanding we're, you know, we're empowered. We're not here to project on each other. And we have a right to stand true to who we are and be honored and respected. It goes both ways. It's a two-way street. So it's like, I feel like this is you really <clears throat> standing in your intuition and doing what you know is right, standing in your integrity. And as you do that, you're going to go through this this portal, this gateway, you know, it's like you can see out on the horizon, you can see the path of love versus fear. And <clears throat> it's about nurturing the love, letting go of the fear. Your soul family, they're going to feel like home. And so whatever amends that you're making from the past, forgiveness, you know, begins with yourself. And as you forgive yourself, you'll naturally be guided to make amends or peace with whatever you need to from the past to move forward. And if you're doubting that, it's like give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Integrity is all about giving others the benefit of the doubt as well. You know, and if, if we're not giving someone the benefit of, of the doubt, there's there's a reason and if there's not a reason we're not in alignment with integrity you know and that's love it's giving someone the benefit of the doubt or a situation and allowing them to show you who you who they are you know to give them that opportunity and for you to make the best choice moving forward it's like you got you'll you can trust yourself you'll feel what connections are nurturing and growing with you and which ones it's time to make you know just be at peace and acceptance with moving forward Okay, so <clears throat> I just want to see if this going beyond normal card has any specific messages. Um, you know, it's, it's like embracing your authentic self and not being afraid to be seen for who you are, right? Um, so yeah, this is about, it's either staying with the mainstream way of life, you know, what you've known this whole time the beliefs and um, values or ways of life that you've lived up until this point that were part of your, you know, family conditioning or society conditioning, mainstream, 3D type of energy. Um, or this is about having that courage and bravery to truly go your own way, to truly trust your authentic path, even if it seems, you know, risky or not as safe and comfortable. It's about getting out of your comfort zone and allowing that sacred rebel within you, connecting with your divine self and getting out of time, you know, the 3D TikTok world and really living in the moment, being in the moment. And it's about choosing your balance. It's about choosing balance and harmony um, it's honoring and nurturing your gifts, your talents, your artistic expression, your nurturing of the earth, of how you connect to the energies, your healing abilities, um, connecting to that divine feminine within you, that, that divine receptive connection. It's, it's a path that allows you to be truly connected to your soul, to be guided. And that is what brings true stability and peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of spirit and body. That's what brings us that true sense of freedom. It's that feeling of connection, of wholeness, of being at one and, you know, feeling that in the present moment, in every now moment. Um, so I feel like this is like, for those of you who chose this, this group, you may have spent a lot of time in your mind space, in the logical world, um, especially with the pentacles energy, the earthly realm, like maybe you've been really working towards building a solid foundation in the material world. And it's been more based on logic than heart and soul than really following your soul. And so you're here to truly, it's like, <clears throat> you've learned a lot about what it really means to build a true foundation what a true foundation really is and it's it's not just the material world at the core of it if there's no love then it means nothing you know so it's about 
being in alignment with your true self at the core and building upon that, right? Building upon that true foundation. Because when you're in alignment, you can manifest and co-create anything, anything, anything is possible. And so I feel like it's, it's really knowing that you have all those divine tools within you and that's all that you truly need. Um, you're moving towards exactly what you're feeling inside. You know, you're feeling this for a reason. So I feel like this is moving forward intuitively. Um, trusting your inner wisdom. It's about taking each step and really moving forward with your intuition guiding you 100%. Um, your creativity, your, you know, the wands, the fire, that's your soul. That's your spiritual nature. And it's letting go of the ego. It's letting go of that control energy, um, competition, or like it's a race, or you have something to prove. It's really about knowing that you're a divine soul and you're here to anchor this love and co-create and allowing yourself to go for it, to give yourself permission to be who you are and trust yourself and allow that to be your focus. Um, don't worry anymore about what's happening in the mainstream or what others think about you, you know. <clears throat> Those who truly love you for who you are see you and they're surrounding you, you know. And as you choose who you really are, your authentic path, you know, that energy ripples out and it all comes back to you. It all comes back to you. So you're definitely going through some sort of trans transformation or portal or gateway. And I just think it's, it's about kind of allowing yourself to trust that you know what you're doing. It's like you're, you're, it's like you're, you, it's like you've known what you needed to do to build this solid foundation in the material world for yourself, for your family. You've learned a lot. Like, I feel like you've put a lot of time and energy into doing that, but it's like, this is a whole new expanded awareness of what you're capable of and what you came here to do. Um, and now you get to really experience what you're made of. And it's going to be really, really just, I want to say delicious. <laughs> I want to say delicious, but it's going to be just very explosive in a sense of you're just, it's going to just feel you. It's going to have your fire just like very, very balanced. You're going to feel fired up, but it's going to be that calm knowing that it's an infinite supply and you're never going to run out. So you don't need to like be in these energies of holding on and worrying and fear and lack. Instead, it's like this energy of, I, I see that my supply is infinite and it's always here. And as long as I choose to remain in alignment with my soul and my authenticity, it's going to keep flowing. The ideas will never stop flowing. The resources, the wisdom, the, you know, knowings of which, where to, you know, who, and all of this, it's like, yes, your intuition I feel like you don't give yourself credit enough for how intuitive you really are. Like it's time for you to really listen to your intuition. You're being divinely guided. And it's when you don't listen to your intuition that things seem to maybe not work quite smoothly, or you feel like something's amiss or something's off. You know what home feels like, and it's, it's something only you know. And it's about trusting that feeling, honoring that feeling within you giving yourself the benefit of the doubt that, you know, you know, and also knowing that you don't know everything, <laughs> surrendering to the fact that we don't know everything and, but our higher self does, and it would never lead us somewhere down a path that wasn't meant for us. That wasn't meant to help us grow and learn. And that, that wasn't divinely guided. So with potential gateway, it says a new course or route is coming into your awareness, right? It's time to utilize your knowledge and complete the task at hand. As you finish one aspect of your life, begin thinking about what you would like to do next. This is part of your life's journey. You are constantly shifting and developing. You may feel contentment, fulfillment, and pride because you've accomplished something. There's productivity and reward as a bonus for your efforts. The good fortune you realize is evidence that you are putting sufficient energy into your life's journey to get out, all, to get out of it all you desire. So 
you're you're going through this gateway of leaving the past behind and moving on towards expansion of your own divine reflection through your relationships, your environment, your situations, your foundation. Your foundation within, it's like you are in alignment with who you really are. You know who you really are. You know what feels good to you and what doesn't. You know what your soul is guiding you towards, even if you can't quite, you know, see it, you know, in detail, but it's like, you know, based on feeling, I can just tell you're very intuitive. So it's about just truly trusting yourself, facing any sort of fears and going for it, giving yourself that benefit of the doubt. I see go for it. Yes. Fire. It's like, you're going to know when you feel it and it's about acting on it. Act on your divine inspired feelings. Only act on the feelings and emotions that you want more of. Only put energy and focus on what you want more of because that's what that's what brings more of it to you. So know that you're you're attracting those that you're meant to be with. Situations, environments, and keep nurturing them, okay? You are different, but you are you are different, like I am different, like we are like they are different. We are all different. <laughs> we are all different. And that's what makes us so amazing. Only you have what you have. No one else has it. And so embrace that. Embrace embrace your true authentic essence and be who you are and allow those who love you for who you are to to reflect that to you and have the courage and bravery that you have for a re I mean it's just about tapping into it and using it and knowing that's why it's there so my goodness you're a strong fiery soul you're a very strong solid person so it's kind of like having that humility to realize that no matter how strong we are, we're still vulnerable. We're still human. All of us still crave true unconditional love because that is what nurtures the soul. True unconditional love is our life force. It is what nurtures human beings. Without it, human beings do not thrive. Animals do not thrive. Life does not thrive. So I think the strongest people recognize that we all love is a part of what we need to thrive just like fresh air and sunlight <laughs> that is love right everything that is love is what we need nutrients love compliments support compassion joy you know inspiration truly the nurturing energy is love so nurture whatever you can nurture nurture what feels good to you to nurture. Don't nurture things that don't feel good to you to nurture. Recognize that those are things that are not in alignment with your path and instead shift your focus to what you're nur you know, what you want more of. Follow your own inner wisdom. I am at peace with my own being. When you find that peace in your own being, you'll see that your your external reality begin, becomes more peaceful. And so be it. Okay, so that's your message, group number one. I truly hope that this message resonated, that you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. I have no words for how grateful I am that you guys are here with me on this journey and for your strength, your beauty. Um, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, for liking, commenting, sharing, for requesting personal readings. I would be honored if you want to receive one from me. Um, I also offer Patreon messages as well. So you can find me on Patreon. Um, I have two tiers over there for a dollar and five dollars. Um, I'm creating a whole bunch of wonderful things and going to be doing some more um, readings for YouTube, a tune into love series, I believe for um, maybe the Zodiacs and kind of a pick a card style. So We'll see about that, but I just want to let you guys know that I am so grateful to be here with you and I am really focused on expanding my gifts and talents and I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to grow with you guys and to share with you and I truly hope that this brought you affirmation and validation and just any sort of guidance or support 
uh, moving forward. So thank you, you guys. I love you. Infinite love always. I'll see you next time. Peace out. camera here okay <laughs> group number two all right group number two let's see what you guys received for your message today I think I'm gonna lay them all out here Queen of Cups four of swords page of Pentacles Release and surrender from the angels, flow of prosperity, Lakshmi, from the ascended masters, joy from wisdom of the Avalon, <clears throat> fork in the road from wisdom of the oracle, fairies, earth magic, this is from earth magic, pendulum decision from divination of the ancients, the Word Wants to be Written, number 42, from the Sacred Rebels. Adventure, from Nature's Whispers. Let Love Transform, from the Rumi deck. Success and Growth, the Eight of Wands, from Psychic Tarot of the Heart. I'm going to put these over here. And your affirmation is, I know inwardly what is right for me. I look in the mirror and say to myself, I deserve all good. I deserve to be prosperous. I deserve joy. I deserve love. Okay. Beautiful. Yes, you do. You deserve love because you are love. I know inwardly what is right for me. <clears throat> Wow. <laughs> so group number two. <clears throat> you are a deep diver, group number two. You are, you guys are very um, beautiful souls, very in tune with your emotions. You love deeply. You, you're very in tune with your intuition, very empathic. Um, <clears throat> very childlike, very connected to the earth, the elements. You know what it feels like to be in your joy. You know what it feels like to be in your childlike spirit and essence. And there's something that you've been meditating on or thinking about that's really um, captured your heart, that's really dear to your heart. It could be a new business venture or an idea or... Um, some sort of creative project <clears throat> that you're really passionate about or you're really excited about, but it means a lot to you. It's something that's, you know, sacred, that's in alignment with your, your true self, your authentic path. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is something you've been contemplating for quite some time and you've been kind of looking into and, and getting deeper insight into um, seeing how you can really incorporate this into your daily life as part of your um, gifts of sharing with others, a part of your income, whether it's doing something. Um, but it's something that adds value to others and to yourself, something that's divinely guided. And it's something that brings you a lot of emotional fulfillment, stability, and well-being. I feel like this is, you're someone who, it's like when we're creating our foundation, our stability, what's most important to you is your emotional well-being. You're someone who's very connected with your emotions. And your emotional well-being is very important. It's your guidance system. And it's, it's what allows you to be in tune with your soul, your joy. It's your emotions, right? <laughs> so... We've also got the Eight of Wands here. So there's a lot of um, successful energy, this energy of flourishing and growth of this idea. Um, a lot of communication in terms of, it's a, it's a high vibrational conversations and loving um, 
nurturing, creative, inspirational type of conversation that soul satisfying back and forth or, you know, it just grows upon itself. It expands. This is a path, whatever it is that you've been thinking about, that is going to be very stable. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment and also that that deep soul satisfaction. Like the, you're on your purpose, you're following your mission. Um, you're being asked to really release and surrender anything from your past that is weighing you down, that is holding you back, that you feel like you don't have control over. It's like letting go of things you know you cannot change. It's, it's like granting, please grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. You know, the courage to let go of what you, you can't hold on to things. You know, it's like we have no control over anything other than our own selves. And so it's trusting your path. It's claiming your path. It's knowing that everything's happening for a reason. Everything's happening for you to grow your consciousness and see things from a new perspective. And if you can see that it's happening in that way, you can ask yourself, what is it that I'm here to learn? You know, the page is all about being a student as well, being inquisitive and learning and being open to seeing things from a, an expanded perspective of wanting to learn the wisdom and how to do things the right way versus just going blindly about it. Um, so it's, it's surrendering to your higher self, to the wisdom of the universe, um, with flow of prosperity here, Lakshmi, this is that energy of, you know, and with joy, this is the highest vibration. This is the vibration that's in alignment with your soul, abundance, joy. So seeing that that is the truth, that energy is the truth. Love is the only thing that's real. Anything that is not love is a distorted perception of the truth because there is only one truth and it is love, it is life. So if we can surrender to situations, to people, to whatever's going on in our lives that is part of the human experience that and trust that everything is happening for a reason, that our higher selves are guiding us, that that love and support is there for us at all times, that abundance is there for us at all times. We're tuning into our joy. It's like you are, it's almost like this path, there's a fork in the road here too, and then decision. So it's like, <clears throat> there's this energy of, of adventure. There's this energy of, um, growth and prosperity and abundance and magic. Um, you're very in tune with your emotions. I want to say that you're very in tune with energy, you know, with the pendulum here. It's like, I don't know if you use the pendulum, but you may try it. Um, I, the pendulum works for me. I can ask yes or no questions or all sorts of things. Um, we'll read this card, but it's like the answer is within you when you, this fork in the road, it's like, we can't stay in our minds, like in meditation mode all of the time. We've got to be willing to trust our emotions to take action and, and move forward towards what we're passionate about, um, towards adventure, towards joy. Um, the word wants to be written. There's something within you that's ready to come out and be expressed in the physical world. Your voice is, you have, you know, the voice of truth. <laughs> it's like your soul is ready to share its expression here in this world and be solidified. It's time for you to share your gifts. It's time for you to take the path of adventure, take the path of growth, um, take the path that allows you to release and surrender of forgiveness of compassion of being accepted for who you really are of abundance of prosperity um being able to be the deep diver that you are to have those beautiful intimate connections and relationships and have control over your emotions because you're choosing you're choosing the path you're choosing the path that you know is right for you right the Queen of Cups doesn't share her emotions with everyone. She doesn't go deep with everyone. And if, you know, someone's not a deep diver, she's most likely not going to connect with you very much. 
you know, she'll show you respect and compassion and all of that, but she's not, you know, she's been through enough to know that her emotions are sacred to her. She values them. She values joy. She doesn't allow anyone to steal her joy. <laughs> you know, she knows prosperity. Her emotions are, she allows her emotions to flow freely because she's aligned and surrounded with unconditional love. There isn't, you know, it's like she stays out of her head and goes into her heart when she needs to. Um, let love transform and, and earth magic. I'm getting a lot with that. This card is, to me, these cards are very similar. There's like this, um, because you are so empathic, I feel like you're a very empathic person. Um, very sensitive to the energy of love when you're in nature you probably connect with nature more than you realize or maybe you do realize but you have the same ability as what we would call the fairies you know the elementals the ability to connect with the elements around you so when you're in a state of your joy of your true authentic nature when you, you know you're just tuned into unconditional love and you're consciously sending it and receiving it just in the now moment, you may notice the environment interacting with you, but it's like consciously you can heal the earth. You can, wherever you're walking, wherever you're going, you can, you know, I just, when I'm walking through places, whenever I intuitively feel guided to, I just, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I call in unconditional love to activate in this space, in this, you know, environment. I give love, I receive love. However, love wants to work its way in here, activate. You know, and I just kind of nurture that energy with my intention, with my thought. Um, so when you feel that, you know, that's, it's like you'll receive divine downloads, divine um, insight. Um, it unlocks, it, un it, it solidifies your connection to your higher self and what wants to be shared and nurtured in this, in this life. So I want to see what the pendulum card says really quick here there's any specific message with divination of the ancients here I feel like um, it says there are many paths before you right with this fork in the road okay it says there are many paths before you some that promise to fulfill your desires and some that others in your life would bid you take to fulfill theirs it is important for you to decide exactly where you want to go and whom you want to be in this lifetime for you and not for anybody else the universe is giving you the choice. Ask yourself which path will lead to wholeness, which path deceives. Choose carefully, for the answers are not being presented clearly to you at this time. You would be wise to call upon the pendulum to assist you with your decision, for it will surely, surely show you the truthful way. Do not take this lightly, as the wrong path could deter you from your destiny. Okay? It says, to the question asked, what answer will show? Circle or swing, I do not know, but answer true it will foretell, and that way I too shall swing as well. Seek your answers from within rather than from another. Trust your own wise counsel. Be more discerning. Don't take others' advice at face value. Release guilt and focus on what's best for you. A major decision will soon need to be made. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I feel like you're being guided to really trust what you know to be true inside that all the answers are truly within you there's you know the only the reason that we tune into these messages is simply to affirm and validate what we already feel inside to be true for ourselves you know it's about it's about affirming if you're listening to a message and it's not resonating with you that's the cue where you where we should say okay that doesn't resonate that means it's not in alignment for me instead of saying oh well that's not happening or you know that's not me or what do they know like I, I, I read people's comments sometimes on other channels and I'm like man if it's just not resonating don't watch it you know it's like but when you when you're in tune with your higher self that you have that awareness that you're choosing what you're tuning into we're all choosing by our own choice what we're tuning into and so it's about focusing on what fulfills you. And that's what I mean about like even choosing to be silent in certain relationships with this card here. It's like re just recently I've you know, been going through this. Those who do not understand your silence will never understand your words. So how long do we want to keep 
feeding something where there's no it's there's there's no benefit it's one-sided you know it's benefiting the other but not you know our not you <laughs> right so it's like release and surrender what is not nurturing what is just not a successful flourishing energy moving towards adventure towards your joy towards that flow of prosperity towards connecting with your heart the earth the soul deep you are a deep diver for a reason and that's a gift that's a gift um and it can be challenging because others around them others around them others around you may they they may be disconnected from knowing what is right for themselves and so that is projected outward this is about seeing that the power is within you at all times to make the right choice for yourself um let love transform by rumi <clears throat> so i'll read you the poem by rumi it says the spring of love arrives to transform the dust into a garden the call is heard from the heavens to bid the wings of soul to fly. The sea becomes filled with pearls. The dry land receives the water of life. The stone becomes a ruby and the body becomes all soul. Oh, I love that. Love is my medicine, intelligent medicine. <clears throat> it takes death and makes it a passageway into greater life. What genius is this? A genius that will render anything and everything as a pathway to life. I have found a bench upon which we may be seated. Nay, not a bench, a love seat. It is carved of precious ruby. It sits under the gentle shade of an ancient tree that thrives in love's garden. Come sit with me, beloved, as we let the whispers of the great beloved penetrate our hollowed ears carried upon the sweet afternoon breeze. As the sun begins to set, the colors become vibrant. Even if we are deaf to the Beloved's tender whispers, we shall not be blind. We shall be captured by the vivid display of the Beloved's artistry and be transported into peace. This oracle comes to you as a living spiritual gift. Whether you realize it or not, you have triumphed. You have blossomed, succeeded, cast aside that which was unworthy, and taken up love's way. How much delight there is from all those that walk this way of love, of life, to find another precious companion in their midst. You are welcomed into this world, this world where love finds a way. There is nothing impossible for love. It is not bound by the mind, and because of this, all manner of miraculous grace works through it in endless creative variety. The Great Beloved is a show-off, creating with such genius as to be breathtaking. We are able to remain always in the heart. We would be constantly breathless in a fit of appreciation and awe so great, truly there would not even be, truly there would not even a slither of emptiness through which fear could enter. What does this mean? It means an avenue for divine fulfillment has been found. You are being given the power for spiritual success, right? Your heart's yearning shall manifest itself, but you must comply according to the law of love. What does that mean exactly? Do you attach yourself to the form that your resolution and success shall take? Why would we seek to limit love's creative genius thus? No, instead trust that it will be magnificent, perfection, literally the work of great genius. Detach yourself from expectations of timing. The harvest will be at the best time when the ripeness is just right. So utterly juicy and sweet you shall know with certainty that this was the best way. Not a moment sooner would have been perfect, nor a moment later. Absolute trust is the best way to adhere to the law of love. This gives you rather some energy to spare, perhaps that might have otherwise been engaged in perpetuating worry or doubt. Well, I am so happy to see that you are twiddling your divine thumbs and wondering if you are not going to worry. If you are going to surrender and trust, then what exactly will you do with yourself? Well, of course you can just live your life, but perhaps you may want to dance barefoot and wild with me upon the cool sand at midnight under the fullness of the harvest moon. Ooh, how beautiful is that, you guys? I feel that. This is like really letting go of anything that is not allowing you to be in your joy and your adventurous spirit and imagine yourself, you know? Imagine yourself truly... What would you do with all that time if it wasn't fixated on, you know, 
shallowness and worry and doubt and fear. It's like release and surrender all that. You know, you've been going within your heart, you know, and the power's within you. It's time for you to truly expand and play and live your life and do what you came here to do. You know, it's through allowing yourself to be in your joy that your purpose really begins to come out. You know, it's like hmm, your, your true foundation, right? It comes from being who you really are. That's the true foundation. And when you give yourself the permission to love yourself, to honor your feelings, your emotions, to release and surrender what's no longer serving, to let go of judgments and you know all of that stuff. It's like you can truly be who you really are and you can embrace your emotions and really tap into them for what they were what they were made for, right? So Let's see if there's anything in here. Drop your defenses, get into the grid, and confront the power that any old shaming has had over you. It's finished now. It's time for you to be naked with yourself. Acknowledge how gorgeous you are and get on with your work. Life is urging you to do so because the work wants to happen. What you want to create wants to be created. The word wants to be written. You just need to let go of any remnants of the past that have been in your way. Step firmly over them and on your path, okay? You're like right there, you know? This, this inspired creative path that you've been thinking about, it's, it's divinely guided. And this is affirmation. So you know what inwardly is right for you and I think this is so beautiful. Um, love is transforming you. You are on the path of love. You are growing with love. You are becoming more embodied in your authenticity and your joy and that in itself. I mean, there's, that's the thing about love. When we embrace love and we begin embodying love and it's rippling out, it, it doesn't matter what the details of our daily lives are because everything is coming from that place of love. And it's about being in that place. Like it's adventurous. It's exciting to discover what it looks like. It's like me doing this, you know, I, I feel this is so beautiful and I bring more beauty into my life and connecting with the earth and going outside and doing videos with you guys and receiving messages and tuning into my crystals and the, you know, setting up a, a beautiful little altar space and, um, you know, it's just like there are things that you learn about yourself and how creative you are and how the beauty that we appreciate only comes from that soul energy, from the love energy. It doesn't come from, you know, it's like if you notice like just cheap plastic stuff made from, you know, something, it's like, and it means nothing. It's like you, you don't feel like this sense of connection or, you know, beauty or appreciation. It's It might serve a purpose, but if it's made cheaply, if it's just made whatever and it breaks, it's like everything gets thrown away. It's like we live in this material world where nothing really has any value. And it's so, you know the, where the true value lies and you know it's your soul and it's 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 like you're bringing your soul essence is ready to to so like be manifested in the physical world and it's it's an experience it's all about experiencing it and co-creating with it it's so amazing you guys i i could go on and on but i'm going to end it here so i truly hope that you enjoyed this message and that it resonated with you and affirmed what you're already feeling inside and that you trust yourself and um, go for go for whatever your soul's guiding you to do express it create it bring it into the world I support you I can't wait to see it and witness your growth and I'm so happy for you I see just joy content you're 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 connected to who you really are and it's just about you continuing to trust your journey trust the path and align with you know abundance and your well-being you know what's right for you so i love you guys thank you so much for being you for walking this path your time your energy thank you for subscribing to the channel for liking commenting and for sharing the videos 
I appreciate all of you so much and I'm so grateful that these messages are you're receiving them and that they're affirming and supporting you on your journey it's it's so magical I'm so honored I don't even have words to express how grateful I am and I love reading all of your comments and being able to get back to all of them as well I, I look forward to being able to do that so thank you guys for just everything thank you so much and I will I am sending all my infinite love as always until I see you next time peace out you guys take good care of yourselves trust yourself you know what's right for you <clears throat> group number three hello group number three how are you guys let's see what the, your message is <clears throat> so we've got the Emperor eight of cups and the star and the four of cups from the sacred tarot of the heart or opportunity beckons fresh air from the angels come out of the closet from Amaterasu ascended masters the raven from wisdom of Avalon magic coincidence synchronistic events <clears throat> the tribe number eight from wisdom of A or, or the wisdom of the Oracle earth magic forest breath spells alchemy from divination of the ancients bring it into form from sacred rebels celebrate differences number three from nature's whispers You Who Show the Way from Rumi. And your affirmation card. I speak and think positively. My current thinking shapes my future. If I hear myself using negative or limiting words, I change them. I speak and think positively. <clears throat> okay, so you've been doing a, quite a bit of personal growth and work on yourself. Um, that is such a hard, challenging, <laughs> you know, it's the mental realm is very challenging to shift um, negative thinking or, you know, old mindsets and beliefs and programs and ways that we've been, you know, we grew up with maybe in our family and didn't even realize that it was negative thinking, right? So it's, I feel like you've, <clears throat> you've gone through a lot and really done a lot of healing and, and personal growth and transformation of yourself and your environment, your relationships. Um, you've really focused on moving towards what fulfills you and really taking the lead in that, you know, really taking charge in your own life and following your, your soul, your own path. Um, so it's like you're in this period where you've really been soul searching you you know that you're following your path and you're taking the lead in that and so it's like there's this period of time where you're you know really moving forward as who you really are you're really beginning to it's you know it's like the letting go of the past of the old relationships the old groups the old vibration of lifestyle basically and you're you know expanded and to truly follow your soul to you feel the new opportunities coming your way you feel the fulfillment coming your way you're letting go of things that weren't fulfilling you emotionally from the past and moving towards what is moving towards what is meant for you what is going to be organically and naturally fulfilling um, I feel like you're moving towards um, with the fresh air card here from the angels this is this is a, a like some guidance on getting fresh air and breathing but I'm also what I'm feeling is that as you're it's like you're moving towards the path where you can breathe like you feel like you can breathe take a deep breath like sighs of relief it's just like a this energy of relief of like ah, oh, not feeling claustrophobic or held in or it's like you can just be free to breathe and be who you are with coming out of the closet um, 
really being able to just be yourself and knowing that the opportunities, the, the situations, the relationships that are around you, embrace that, you know, embrace you. And so maybe you've been in relationships where you doubted your own worth and your own well-being, you know, because you believed things about yourself that weren't true because of what others had said to you, you know, through programming and all of that. So I feel like you're very connected to your intuition, your higher self through synchronicities, through messages, um, coincidences, right? That magic of, um, it's like you've had experiences with this law of attraction and manifesting. Um, for you, the solid foundation, the balance that you're moving towards. And here, look at the forest breath card. It's your tribe is coming. <laughs> it's like you're, you're moving to, towards the energy of your tribe of being surrounded with um, oxygen where you can breathe. It's like you've been starved of oxygen. Um, you who show the way, I feel like you've been, you know, on your own, you know, it's like you've been standing tall, shining your light and it's felt very like you're the only one. And you know, part of that is as a leader, as a way shower, we do stand alone a lot, you know, and in, in our environment and where we are, it's like kind of that energy where like, if you don't know what's going on, no one does. And it's because you're a way shower, um, with celebrate differences here. It's like, you're able to truly appreciate differences and how we all have unique gifts and talents and how we all bring something different to the table. And just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad or wrong or good or any of that. It's, it's about seeing that everything has purpose, everything has value and there's a reason for all of it. And we, we all deserve to be here. We're, we're all here for a reason and it's learning how to co-create together and how to focus on our strengths and how we can live in harmony and balance with each other. Um, so you have, you have an ability to see that, um, you have an ability to lead people. You're a leader. I mean, with the emperor here, you are a leader, a natural born leader. Um, and I feel like even with this card here, bring it into form. It's like your leader, your authentic path as a leader, as following your true self. It's like, this is what you are always meant to do. And it's like you're coming out of the fear-based consciousness into your true authentic love self and bringing that into form. It's like very similar to this man going to search his soul and, and leave behind what is no longer resonating with the soul. It doesn't fulfill him. He's following his destiny. You know, you're following your destiny. You're, this is alignment. This is healing, you know, forest breath. Um, I feel like maybe you're being guided to, to just go out into the woods, out into nature and breathe and connect and, um, allow yourself to meditate and visualize things, um, that you want to manifest, see your tribe, um, coming because they are, you're, you're manifesting and attracting those that are, you're meant to be with. And with the number eight here, this is strength. So the tribe brings in that sense of strength and support and, um, feeling relief and feeling um, accepted for who you really are, right? Um, <clears throat> because we're all different. And maybe you've been in an energy or in the past where you weren't accepted for who you are. But now that you've come into this knowing of who you are and you accept and love yourself for who you are, you know, it's like you're able to truly shine your light and be who you are. And it's the spells alchemy, you know, I feel like with the words too, let me see what this card says. Um, you're truly alchemizing that, you know, your energy from fear into love alignment. Where are you here? Spells. I just saw it. Went right by it. Something you hold dear a relationship, a job, an interest, or an object, or even yourself will transform mysteriously into something even more precious to you. The spells card indicates that you are starting to discover the possibilities the art of transformation offers you. Possibilities you hadn't even realized were out there. 
As you learn more, you will find your needs change and a kind of evolution takes place where you find you desire only what is best for yourself. You have the Midas touch right now. Your standards and expectations become so pure that whatever you touch turns to metaphoric gold. You will be supported in gaining a new sense of self-worth, which will draw all that you deserve and desire directly to you. Wow, so it's a time of great transformation. All is turning out beautifully. You have the power to change a situation. Believe in your self-worth, have positive expectations. You have the ability to succeed. Your pure intentions are key, okay? <clears throat> and as the leader, as the emperor here, I mean, his, his intentions are very pure, very deeply rooted in love. And, you know, he takes great pride and satisfaction in being able to lead and protect his legacy, you know, and, and be in the utmost integrity and be very solid and make those decisions. And so I feel like it's, you know, you're a part of that anchoring of the foundation for yourself and for the collective you know it's like let me i want to see the roomy and look it's a number 33 card which is to me always a number of like the master builders the trinity the i don't know it just i always see master builder magic <laughs> you who show the way so the poem for this card is the logical mind runs away from drowning. Lovers accept drowning in the sea as their destiny. The logical mind finds consolation in reaching a level of comfort in life. Lovers are focused beyond their own comfort, right? And we are all, I mean, we are lovers. We are divine, unconditional lovers. We are here to love, to be loved, to anchor love. We are love. We just, there's no running away from that we are the love that we seek and it's like truly learning to live from the heart versus the mind it's aligning the, the divine mind to the heart where the soul resides the divine mind where the inspiration comes in oh my goodness it says I have looked to you in my darkest moments searched for you as though fumbling for the candle and matches during un unexpected and in interminable blackout. I am the ship at sea, seeking you as my guiding light. Nay, I am the sea, rising up to the horizon because I yearn to be closer to you. Then, oh, to my greatest relief, you rise like a phoenix from the ocean, casting hallowed golden light all around you, this great blazing angel of holy fire. In a sweet instant, my soul rests in your presence. The sea becomes calm, the darkness abates. Your light reveals truth, and through your living presence, I know my true self again. I am what you are. Even when it appears, I am returning after being lost in darkness, as though I could ever be extinguished. I am divine light. I am you, a living sun. Even in your unquenchable passion for service to humanity, to the world that offers you so much, there is a time when your most powerful offering is actually and most simply that of your presence. You show the way, you who inspire through how you choose to live and be, you who sometimes think yourself to be invisible, you who consider yourself to be of no particular or exceptional worth, you, you, <clears throat> you through your choice to live your truth, reveal my face, demonstrate my love, embody my presence, heal my beloveds, and love my creations. This oracle comes to you with a special message. You are an inspiration. You are helping those around you and even many of whom you are unaware. You are doing this because this is your path, this is your way, this is your gift, to live a life dedicated to the growth of consciousness and through that dedication, inspire others to receive the loving consciousness of the great beloved that can benefit them so greatly, no matter what their situation or circumstances. You are not doing this through any effort or will. You are doing this because this is your nature, your being, your way. Just as the sun breaks through darkness with its own light, shining light with it with its presence by simply being, so too does your inner sun, your soul. You don't have to understand this or do anything with the information given, although you may find it of comfort or even be shocked by it pleasantly perhaps. It is just an acknowledgement of who and what you are, given freely because you are ready to receive such an acknowledgement. You are also being gifted through this oracle with a sign, a portent, 
This oracle is an omen, an issue too difficult for you to understand, no matter how hard you've been working on it, is about to be resolved. You have no need to hold on to it or become more worthy of that resolution. It's going to happen according to the grace of the Great Beloved, and your job is to allow it to happen, to simply bear witness to the resolution, even if you have no idea what is going on in the process. You may find that whilst you're letting go, the resolution happens without you being aware of it until after the fact. Then apparently, all of a sudden, what was an issue is no longer so. <clears throat> you who help others are a worthy recipient of the help of the Great Beloved. Be prepared to surrender all plans and convictions about what can and cannot be, about what you think you know and what you think you need. Allow the benevolent grace of the Beloved to take you through the great waves as the seas become calm and serene under the living divine light. This oracle brings the message that if you have a situation in your midst that feels impossible to resolve, the divine has it covered. Do the sacred honoring ritual and let it be sorted out by a power greater than your own. It shall be sorted out and your sun shall rise. Just as day follows night again and again, so too shall your sun rise after an, any issue or struggle. Have faith and hope and know that this is a sensible approach to any dilemma, no matter how serious it may seem. For what use is it to bemoan the absence of day, even on the longest night, when you know in every moment dawn is ever closer to breaking once again? Your hope then is not foolish, but wise. So the honoring ritual says, place your hands on your heart and say, The divine who loves me unconditionally blesses me now with such grace that my life aligns with divine order and all becomes golden, blessed, and merciful held in the compassionate consciousness of the Creator. I thank you for the courage and faith I have needed to endure the night, and I now celebrate the coming dawn. I see it breaking, I see its light, and I thank you for this mercy. With Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, I am not shown the way to the dawn. It is at my feet, and together we step into the gift of a new day. So be it. Wow. So you're stepping into the dawn of a new day. You're literally stepping into the dawn of a new day. Stepping out of, coming out of the cave. You know, Amaterasu comes out of the cave after she sees her own reflection. Um, I feel like you've been really, I mean, look at the spirals and the, there's so much going on here, but you're a natural born leader. You came here to lead and to anchor this love just by simply being who you are. These divine innate qualities you have within you of unconditional love are already so known to you. And it's just about breaking free of any of the programming that has you believing anything otherwise. This to me is just like such beautiful affirmation that you're on the right path and that you will continue to receive synchronicities and signs and you're moving. It's like the, the best is yet to come. I mean, you are, you are right where you're supposed to be and moving towards such beautiful fulfillment and stableness and, and authenticity and you can breathe. I just feel like you're someone who you just feel like you can breathe and that's really important. And, um, I feel a lot of nature surrounding you with the greens here. Um, just a lot of balance, the blues and the greens, a lot of earth energy. You're very connected to the earth as well. I love all of you guys. You're so connected to this energy. And I think it's really about giving ourselves more credit more acknowledgement and having more faith, <laughs> more faith and hope in ourselves, our journeys, why we're here, you know, trusting our, our higher selves wouldn't be putting us through stuff just to put us through it, like that we have a higher self and that we, we chose to go through this and there's a reason. And if we did, there's something to learn. And also knowing that we set something up really amazing for us to experience, you know, like we wouldn't just go through this to not have something beautiful to contrast it. So this is beautiful to me and I'm grateful to walk this path with you to bring it into form with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for choosing to be courageous and strong and shift things within you and to become your best self for choosing love for choosing who you really are. I'm so grateful. I'm so honored to deliver these messages. I thank you for being you, your time, your energy. 
Thank you for subscribing to the channel, for liking, commenting, for sharing this with others. Um, I'm so grateful, you guys. I truly enjoy all of your comments, your feedback, and being here with you and just walking right with you. I'm right with you, and, you know, we're in this together. And so I'm honored and I'm grateful. So thank you, guys. And until I see you next time, I'm sending all my infinite love always. Peace out, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Keep nurturing yourselves. And being the amazing leaders that you are. My goodness. Mm. All right. So group number four. Let's see. Let me check the camera. Okay, group number four. So let's see. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Let's see what your message is today. So we've got the Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Hierophant. Seven of Wands. A lot of spiritual energy here. <clears throat> heart Chakra, Heart and Soul. Right. Okay, right. So you're being guided to write some things down channel some things you're receiving some divine inspired ideas trust <clears throat> winter solstice reflection we've got sacred tarot of the heart the angels ascended masters wisdom of avalon this is um, earth magic winter solstice reflection divination of the ancients um, phrenology certainty What is already within, what is already with you? The number 17, this is from Sacred Rebels. Nature's whispers, you are worth it. Happy, happy from Wisdom of the Oracle. This is from Rumi deck, the impossible made possible. And your affirmation is, oh my goodness, I am good enough. I am good enough. There is no need to struggle to be better. All I need to do is love myself more today than yesterday and treat myself as someone who is deeply loved. Treat yourself as someone who is deeply loved. That that was such, such a big help and support for me in shifting my perception. Um, there's no need to struggle to be better. All I need to do is love myself more today than yesterday and treat myself as someone who is deeply loved. I am good enough, okay? Oh my goodness, you are worth it. Wow, I feel, um, goodness. <clears throat> so, oh, <laughs> there is so much I'm picking up in this reading. Um, you are a very strong old soul. You are a beautiful soul. You're very grounded. You're very down to earth. You're very logical, practical. You've been living, um, you know, it's like, I feel like you have self-discipline. I feel like you're very persistent and determined. I feel like you um, are very committed to what you create, to what you go after. Um, and I feel like you, you've been going through you know, through this awakening that you've had, spiritual awakening of um, getting in more in tune with your heart, with your soul, with what your authentic path is, your true desires. Um, I also feel like you've gone through a lot of reflection and a lot of thoughts in your mind and, you know, where you've been aligned and what you really believe. What are your beliefs? What is really true for you? Um, you've been really learning about what you stand up for, what your beliefs are, what, you're, what you value, what you want to align with, um, choosing where you want to focus your energy and, you know, is this worth going down this path with this situation? Do I want to feed this energy? Or, you know, is it alignment with who I really am, my authenticity? And so you've really been honing in on that and tuning into your heart and opening up your heart chakra. And I feel like you're... <clears throat> You find alignment with writing, like maybe connecting with your higher self and writing. Um, you find, because of that connection to your divine self, <clears throat> it's something that 
builds confidence in your trust of yourself and the universe of your path. Um, you may have been doing a lot of reflection on the past um, because you've gone, you've been going through a lot. Like you've, you've had to overcome and endure quite a bit. And I feel like you're being guided to become like it's, you're someone who's already very self-disciplined. And so I feel like this is really seeing your value and seeing that you are good enough to pursue whatever it is that you desire. Maybe you're a writer and you really enjoy that and you want to write a book, for example, like whatever, however it resonates with you. But just as an example, if it was a book that you always wanted to write, it's about writing that book and trusting yourself and knowing that what's coming through you is divine and worthy of being received because it's unconditional love and it's it's all within you it's all within that connection but it's about being in tune with your vibration your frequency and because you have had to endure quite a bit and maybe in the past like what you believed you didn't believe it was possible but with this new awareness this new connection to yourself to unconditional love you're now beginning to see that you know there are things that are possible that you you know maybe you've never dreamed of before, but now you're seeing how it's possible. Now you're seeing the potential. And with the Hierophant here, this is about becoming self-disciplined in the, in the physical world, you know, on your spiritual path, really beginning to implement practices and um, taking that self-initiated, you know, discipline and motivation towards staying in alignment to who you really are towards your spiritual path and writing may be one of those things that keeps you in connection with your higher self it's like meditation you know it's that energy where you feel trust where you feel complete where you feel that you're connecting with that true life force energy it's already within you and if we don't recognize our own value or worth then we doubt our connection to our higher self when we see our value when we see our worth when we know that we are this pure life force energy worthy and we're here for a reason to create and express and being in alignment with what that is true love what that really means um that foundation of of true value of true worth of true expression and freedom um it's a foundation where we're not enduring and overcoming and having to be persistent and like always you know on the defense or you know always like it's like we're we're tired we're ready to be in ease and peace and so i feel like there's a lot of victory in that like you've overcome quite a bit and whatever like be be proud of yourself you know be proud of how much you've overcome be proud of your courage and your bravery and your choice to choose love and to overcome and that you know, be aware that you have this strength, but it doesn't mean that you're going to have to be, you know, enduring the rest of our lives, right? It's like the reason that we're enduring is because we're choosing love and we know that this path builds that solid foundation. And it may be challenging in the beginning with choosing our battles, you know, by standing up for ourselves. There may be those around us that don't agree with how we're moving forward, right? And so that's, that's that energy of standing firm in who you are and knowing that there's some things you've got to overcome, but ultimately if you stay disciplined and you stay true and you trust your path, um, it's, you know, your foundation is, is fully coming into alignment. It's, it's true alignment. So I want to see what the certainty card is. This is from divination of the ancients. <clears throat> It says, if your days are filled with aimless activity and your head is filled with pointless internal chatter and inconsistent plans, stop a while and turn down the volume. When you give it, when you give into rest and silence, you're more likely to hear the information your guides are trying to give you. As you try to ascertain what you should or should not do, use your own head rather than accepting the first piece of advice you're given. Think logically, so it's time to rely. Think logically as it's time to rely on good, old-fashioned common sense. Stability in your life is required, so make concrete plans. Seek expert advice and research carefully what you need to know to be certain about your next move. If you do so, the outcome will be successful without a doubt. The chatter in my mind's a din, so I'll meditate, journey in. Surrender to silence and listen well to guides who wait with truth to tell, okay? Practice meditation to quiet your mind. Prayer will help you to know 
Retreat, monitor your thoughts carefully, listen to your guides, don't dive straight into a situation. Make sure you are certain of all the facts. Certainty will prevail. I really feel like you're being guided to reflect on things and to write things down. However you're feeling guided to write, whether it's journaling or writing a book or sharing your story or information that you're receiving from your higher self, um, trust what you're receiving and it's, you know, it's us who bring the unseen into the scene. It's us through our awareness and acknowledgement of this divine energy that bring it into the physical. The true reality is the unseen reality. That's where everything originates. So, you know, the impossible made possible. What is already with you, you know what that is, right? You know what that is. Because only you know. Um, it's telling, It's this card speaks to what you're looking for is already with you. It's already within you. Um, so it's about starting small with what you have, where you are. It's kind of like the magician, you know, it's like start with what you have where you are and just go moment by moment. Um, trust that everything you have you need right now in this moment. Let go of perfection or things needing to be a certain way. Just look around and see and know that you have everything you need within you. It's like these divinely inspired ideas or options or whatever. It's like you're going to know. You're going to know that It's about nourishing your courage, your bravery. It's like with this card, get the facts, do some research, you know, use your common sense. Um, reflect on the events and the things that have led you to this point and the wisdom that you have now after going through so much. I want to read You Are Worth It because I don't think I've pulled this card before. The only way you can accept, respect, and cherish others is by accepting, respecting, and cherishing you. Accept praise and credit when it is given to you. When you learn to be accepting, you allow your true potential to blossom. You claim your worth and reflect that light to others. When you see yourself in this light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value. As you strive toward more self-love each day, you will find yourself infused with new energy. It is okay to walk away from relationships that minimize or hurt you. Enjoy and love who you are, okay? So yeah, and this, you know, with the happy, happy card here, this is you moving towards relationships that are in alignment with who you really are, that bring out your natural, that bring out your emotions naturally of joy and, and contentment and peace and well-being. So finding more stability in your foundation and your well-being is knowing your own worth and value, um, tuning into your heart and allowing yourself to express and, and where you feel gifted, where you feel, you know, I want to read the Rumi card because I feel like there's so much in this message. Um, but you have a lot to be proud of and to be grateful for and to see your value and worth. You know, you are a very strong ancient soul and it's about seeing yourself with that love, that unconditional love of how beautiful you truly are. So this is the number nine card. And again, the nine of wands, you're, you're at the end of something you've been enduring. Okay. And I really feel like it's it, part of you enduring. This is showing you how strong you are. And that's showing you like your worth is limitless. It is priceless. Like, you can overcome and endure things and still connect to your soul and have that motivation to share love, to anchor love. Like you are, freaking priceless you are a gift to treasure okay so it says love brings the sea into boiling and turns the mountain into a pebble love creates infinite openings in the dark sky and shudders the earth with its magnitude Rumi she spins this great earth goddess upon invisible strings amongst a wildly pulsating valley of life stars are born live and die all around her Life moves in constant flux, and still she spins in her great loving constant pirouette. How can this be? All of creation is born from nothing. 
Out of endless silence and darkness, light emerges. What strange music is this? The sun heats the solar system and burns with the power to destroy life, yet it is a force by which life is sustained. Surely this makes no sense and cannot be. We dance in the realm of the impossible made possible constantly, you and I. We are so engrossed in it, so familiar with it, and yet blind to it, that these constant impossibilities happening in every moment fail to inspire us. <clears throat> yet what are your biggest, boldest, most extraordinarily impossible dreams compared to this great impossibility of life itself? Ah, uh, they are but tiny seeds in the Creator's masterful hand being now planted in the heavenly garden. Yes, they are being planted right now, for the moon tells us the time is right. Most tenderly shall they be watched over, nurtured into fullness according to the season. Yes, that growth is assured. The impossible is now made possible. Right? Because like those divine thoughts are like seeds. Love is a seed. Every, like the pet, when you see like, when you think of love and planting your seeds, it really is like a seed. It must be nurtured and tended to and and given attention and guarded over and watched over and co-created with for it to grow and flourish. That is love. So it says, <clears throat> we only limit what we believe to be possible by our lack of imagination. The divine has recourse to all that is and all that is yet to be. Is there any limit to the resources of the heavens? No. So then why has not every impossible dream now been rendered possible, indeed manifest in shining glory upon the earth? The human heart knows everything envisioned can manifest according to divine timing and grace. Yet the mind does quake with fear so much that it will not listen to the heart at times. That fear is a childlike nightmare that should you offer yourself up to the sacred loving power of the great creator, you might be found to be lacking. The mind holds itself captive with dark fantasies of that profound rejection and then avoids confronting it directly at all costs. It creates barriers instead, truly nothing more than lines in the sand, yet believed it to be forts. But what strongholds can resist love? It is like water. It seeps into every available space and changes form to survive in every environmental condition. With unfailing intelligence, it creates life. From stream to ice, rainfall, the river and ocean, rain descending into snowflakes, snow capping the peak, expressing itself with beauty and genius. It nestles under the earth and rises to the sky, only to return to the earth again. It will erode blockages and prevail, no matter how long that process takes. It carves the earth into shape and form. Where it is, there is life. Such is the adaptable intelligence and persistence of water, just as the power of love. So now you are guided by this loving power to drop the doubt, shed the incredibility, and open up the mind. Increduality, sorry, and open up the mind. Allow your imagination to be inspired as though you are a child in a great garden, hearing the breath of the earth and the wind-whipped leaves and the voices of the ancestors in bird song. The universe wants something to happen for you, something beautiful, something utterly improbable, and something perfect for your path, your own unique divine destiny. Your mind will wonder if it is even possible. People around you may wonder the same thing, but your heart will burn for it to become real, to become more than a fantastic, improbable dream. You'll want it with all your soul. You may not even be consciously aware as yet what this great desire is, but your heart knows. It holds the secret knowledge and will unveil it when your mind can handle it. When your heart is much more powerful than your mind, you won't unintentionally block the incredible grace of manifestation seeking to pour into your thirsty soul like the sweetest, purest waters of blessing. My goodness, okay. So, <laughs> this is powerful, and I really feel like for you, building your solid foundation upon what you, what fuels your heart, it's like something to do with writing, it's something to do with expressing yourself through words. It's something to do with your connection to your higher self and really anchoring this energy of truth, of truth, trust, of what true trust is um, and how that brings contentment 
and you're going to do it through your own experience, through your own growth and expansion of your gifts, of expressing your gifts in the world, of being that living example. I just love this so much, and you are you are expressing the divine energy, you know, bringing the unseen into the physical world. So there's nothing to fear, you know. It's letting your heart be the compass and using that mind for divine intelligence, aligning to your own divine intelligence and letting your heart guide you. So, I mean, this is beautiful. You, you have been through a lot. You've, you've gained a lot of wisdom and now it's truly believing in your own abilities, in your own beautiful soul essence and allowing it to express. And that's going to bring you so much happiness. I mean, the way I feel expressing these messages is that, I mean, it brings the happy, happy. I mean, I can't explain it other than it just, you know, it's beyond me. It's, it's beyond me, but I, I continue to tune into it because it feeds my soul. It's so beautiful and it heals me as, as well as so many others. So it's that kind of thing where you're just going to be like, maybe you want to write and share and and you know it feels good for you to write it and share it but then you see how it helps others and you're like oh my gosh and that's how love works it's a win-win it's a win-win you know it's a win-win energy so good for you keep choosing your battles you know it's like whatever is happening you're it's almost through and the more you focus on what's already within you expanding um and using your divine mind for what it's meant for, you know, you're, you're bringing what was once thought to be impossible for yourself into reality, into manifestation. So, and you're, and it's like, you're going to inspire others to do the same. You know, it's, you're going, you are an inspiration for others who see you and want to overcome and you know maybe they're going through hard times like I just see you as a very beautiful inspiration to those around you and definitely share what you're receiving you know share whatever you feel to, divinely guided to share because it's needed right now you guys we all need to share what we feel guided to and you know it's about having that courage and confidence within yourself so share you know and I support you I guide you and those who see you you know reach out for help to those like or I don't know but it's like we are all supporting each other in this energy of unconditional love so you will be supported by the universe that's the law <laughs> that's that's how it is and it's all coming from this beautiful heart energy that you're radiating out Look at how beautiful this card is. I just love it. You are worth it, okay? Don't believe anything less. You are <laughs> perfect just as you are. And I'm so grateful that you're here walking this path with of love with me and with all of us here. I mean, we're all walking this path together. And it's not always pretty. <laughs> it's not always a beautiful journey, right? But it, it truly is a beautiful journey, right? It's the beautiful crazy mess that it can be but it's it's so divine and and life is meant to be messy that's why we can clean things up you know it's like it's about truly embracing it and trusting yourself so thank you thank you so much this was your message and i i truly hope that it affirmed and resonated with you and validated what you're feeling um, and that you keep going and <clears throat> know that you'll be supported. And I can't wait to see what you're doing. Share what you're doing. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys are creating. However I can support you, I want, I'm here to do that. And we all want to support each other, don't we? So <clears throat> thank you for being you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, you guys, for liking, commenting, for sharing the videos. I absolutely love reading all your comments. It brings such a beautiful affirmation of my heart that we're we're right where we're supposed to be, and I I look forward to returning all of your comments. Um, I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being you, for for doing the work, for showing up in the world the way you do, and keep loving yourselves, trusting yourselves, believing in your yourselves, and. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for being you. I will see you guys next time for the next video. 
And until then, I'm sending all my infinite love as always, you guys. Peace out. Thank you.